What's up, everybody? We are back, finally. Sorry for the long hiatus, and uh, do apologize for that. I had a lot going on. But we are back and going to try out a new video format. See if you like this better. Did read the comments. Y'all said more tools, less me. I thought I was the reason for all of the fans, but I guess really it is a Harbor Freight review channel. So I guess the tools are what you want. But anyways, so this isn't Harbor Freight. This was actually sent to me by an uh, Amazon retailer. They asked me to do a review on it. It's the uh, DXZ, TOZ, uh, Endoscope 50 foot version. And if you know, this is going to be my third one that I've reviewed. So I'm actually getting pretty familiar with these things. Um, let's just go ahead and get it open and uh, see how it looks. Okay, so first things first, comes with the uh, uh, 720p screen, although the camera does 1080. Um, so if you output the uh, SD card into something, you'll get 1080 on it. And then comes with this massive scope. I've been using this one, so it's not, this isn't like a true unboxing. I've already unboxed it, put it back together a few times. Uh, massive spool of your scope here and uh, the scope itself oh my god it's uncoiling on me Ugh. that's the camera itself and then you know honestly I didn't actually look through everything it came with uh, okay cool so in this little oh, let's open this. this little vial here There is some very tiny mirrors you can put on the end of the scope to not only give you a nice 90 degree uh, upward angle or however you're pointing it, also gives you a nice blunt end on it too. And then this looks to be a small magnet Oops. that you can put on the end of it, which is nice. And a nice little hook. And you know what? Really wish I looked in this freaking box the other day. I was using this to run some, help me run some wires. And I needed a hook. I went to Harbor Freight and got their wire puller uh, with the hook on it. And literally electric, electrical taped it to the end of the endoscope. Ugh, I should have been recording that. Although, y'all would make, make me feel like I'm an idiot. Talking about idiot, how's this thing go back in the box? You know what? We'll worry about that later. And then comes with a little Allen key. Um, this is the uh, it's a mount for the bottom, or no, for the back of this. I'll show you that. Hold on. And this is kind of nice. This little mount that they send you. The other one that I did a review on came with the same little mount. Um, but on the back of this, there is a little uh, screw. And so all you do is you put the little key into there. That's the way it's supposed to go. Screw this down. And like so, it stands up. So you can actually set it up somewhere and use your scope and then of course comes with the you know USB transfer cable and uh, some velcro for this thing for this massive thing so I will say first and foremost hopefully this video is coming out okay this is my first time trying to do this format and I can't see the screen so I actually have no clue what y'all see right now uh, we're just hoping for the best uh, but yeah and then cardboard box so I will say First things first, for an endoscope of this caliber, I would have expected a hard case. Um, the other two, even the cheap one, hold on, let me find my cheap one. The Harbor Freight one. The Centec, the original Centec. Y'all, this is gonna be worth money one day. This is the original Centec. Version 1 only has three buttons on it. 
Anyways, so this comes in a nice hard case. Now granted, this one compared to this one, right off bat I'm going to tell you, this one, I hate to put down Harbor Freight, but the video quality sucks on the Harbor Freight one compared to this one. This one I think is either 480 or 240, I don't know, it's horrible. Um, it's cool for, you know, when you want to just look at something really quick and you don't need any fidelity. But if you're trying, but and it also comes with a very short video cable, which I guess that also makes sense. So it all makes sense uh, for the price, right? So this is like Harbor Freight one's a third of the price of this. But really, it's cheap no matter which way you're going. Um, I think this one's listed somewhere between 150, 175 dollars, something like that. Uh, I don't know. They didn't tell me how much it actually sold for. It's just what I looked up online. But anyways. Um, you know, if you're going to spend 50 or 60 bucks on an endoscope, just spend the extra 100 or the extra 50 and get one of the higher, um, DPIs, you know, get the higher resolution because yeah, okay. You might not need the 50 foot scope, uh, but when you're inside of a wall and everything is blurry, that kind of sucks. So anyways, to get back to this one. Uh, operation super simple. You just plug in the endoscope here. And wait, I need to face this this way so you can see it. Okay, I'm doing this upside down, so if I make a mistake, I'm sorry. And so there you go. Boots right up to your screen. And now y'all looking at my ceiling. There's my camera. Yes, I'm using my phone now. My phone, I bought. A super nice camera not that y'all care and my phone camera is better than the camera that I bought so trying my phone out so there you go and you know fidelity wise hold on I don't know how well you can see this I don't know if I can hold this and do this at the same time let me grab mr. Red Bull here let me turn it around to the ingredients okay so I don't know if y'all can see that really good let me turn this. So I'm about. Oh, you know what? Let me here. So y'all can just see how far away I am. So yes, yeah, so I'm about maybe an inch away from it. And so you can clearly read caffeine contain 189. Wait, I'm losing my spot. Oh, there we go. Milligram, 20 fluid ounce not recommended for children. I'm a child. Why, why is this not recommended for me? Anyways, so you can see the fidelity on this thing is really good. It has autofocus feature too. Um, so you can get pretty close. I mean, that's starting to get blurry. I'm about a quarter an inch away from the can. I mean, you can literally start seeing the uh, dimples in the metal of the can but it does auto focus which is nice see as i've been pulling out it still stays in focus uh which is really cool and then it also if you push this little button right here has a little side camera as well so as it is an endoscope if you're looking down a pipe or a barrel or something like that and obviously you can't rotate the camera uh because you don't have a lot of room uh, you can just hit this button and it'll switch from the uh, forward view camera to the side view camera and the side view camera has the same fidelity as the top view camera. So that's really nice too. And it has, uh, this one has a light on its side as well. So you have a light on the front. Oh, well, if I hit the right button, you have a light on the front and you also have the light on the side there too. And you can control the... Um, uh, luminosity of the light as well so that's three different settings so that's pretty cool there um, everything else oh yeah there is a flashlight on the back of this thing too uh, which is kind of cool and this thing does have a lithium-ion battery in it with a pretty long uh, use life on it like fully charged I use this thing probably two three hours on a full charge and I'm down probably about a third of battery so from my experiment six to eight hours of usage probably um you can also 
take pictures. Hit that middle button, and I'll take a picture for you. And then, oh yeah, so the up down arrows uh, rotate your view uh, from. So if you're looking at something upside down, like there you go, see. And then from here, uh, you hit the M button, it'll go to video, and you can actually record a little video. And there you go. And so that's basically the Zendoscope. Um, I will say, for the price, it is awesome. But I have a complaint. 50 foot endoscope. What am I going to do with this? Like, it is ridiculous to think that. I mean, I don't know. I guess if you're if you're going through like plumbing or something like that, that's pretty straightforward. I was fishing this thing through some walls, and about 15 feet in, maybe not even, maybe about 10 feet in. Even though this cord is very stiff, like yeah, let me move that rebel. So any way you bend it is the way it's going to stay. And that's awesome. And it's very stiff. Problem is, when you're 10 feet in, how are you bending the front of this to make a corner? So, I don't know. Maybe I need to get a little bit more handy with it. Uh, maybe there's, you know, some techniques. I don't know. But, I don't know. I, I just think 50 foot into this thing, there's no way you're going to be able to snake it through anything unless you're going down something completely straight. So, I don't know. I think 50 foot's a bit excessive, just, you know, for me. And then you're having to deal with this to wind it back up. But, I think, like, 6 feet's too small, too. I don't know if there's a happy median. But, either way, though, for the price, you're getting a heck of a lot of uh, cable. <coughs> Excuse me. You're getting a heck of a lot of cable. And, uh, and so, if you ever do need it, it's there. And, all in all... It's a nice little endoscope. Uh, the DXZ and all the other ones that are, you know, essentially cloning this head unit. This head unit is really where the money is. Um, and it's a nice little head unit. This is the second head, head unit I've had just like this. And it's a nice little head unit. The screen is uh, very visible. Uh, even in bright light, you can still see it. Uh, the functions, the features are easily uh, laid out. And you know what you're doing. Um, on the bottom side here, it comes with the uh, USB out and SD card uh, reader, so you can take pictures, take videos directly on it. Uh, you can transfer it directly off to your computer uh, once you're done, if you want to, you know, look at it uh, a little bit more closely. So, all in all, DXZ, good job. Uh, the endoscope's nice. The uh, quality of the cable's good. <coughs> I didn't feel at any time I was going to break it. I will say, if you're planning on going uh, deep with your endoscope, like you're using it to help snake wires or something, pick up the Harbor Freight uh, fiberglass snake kit. Uh, it's like less than 10 bucks. Don't know how much. I think maybe it's eight or nine bucks, something like that. It is so awesome. And this will go right on it. It's small. And uh, I just electrical taped it on there. And the, and the stiffness of that fiberglass uh, fishing. I don't know what you call them. Fish stick? I don't know. Anyways, that fiberglass fish stick uh, gives you a lot more control once you get out 10 feet or so, you know? So, anyways, there you have it. DXT, hold on. Let me show this box. I'll put the link in the uh, description. If you need an endoscope, it's a good endoscope.